my name is uh, Engineer Moses Kaziwe, uh, a farmer, an entrepreneur, and uh, a businessman. Yeah, uh, here we are is a place called Budonga Gomba in Impenja Sub County, Gomba District of Uganda. Uh, here we do animal uh, animal keeping and uh, and uh, the animal feed called Batamara, a plant that was uh, originated from uh, from America uh, 50 years ago. And, and uh, somehow it had died, but now we have revamped it. Uh, and here we have 50 acres of uh, Guatemala, yes. What do you do here? Here we have, we, we actually we, we deal in farming, in uh, cattle rearing, sheep and goats. Yes. How many did you start with? We started with, uh, actually initially we, st we started with 200 goats, with knowing that we could manage them. Later, after one year, they became 800. You know, goats are producing twice a year. They became 200, I mean 800. And then we had no feed. Actually, in this whole place you are seeing, within a short period, the, 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 the grass had gone off. So I realized that I, I should scale down on the number of goats. Uh, yes, cows we had, but cows were not many. They were like 15. And then sheep, we had 50. So uh, we realized that we had to scale down from, from the number of animals we had then, and then start planting Guatemala, like you've seen around. Uh, but we are expecting between now and next year, same time, we shall be able to have even 10,000 animals within the same, same farm, because we shall be having enough feed for our animals. Talk about the history of Guatemala. What is Guatemala? Guatemala is in the form of a Napier. Uh, uh, Chisagazi, in our local language, we call it Chibingo in Runyankole. Uh, it is an animal feed. Actually, the advantage of Guatemala, you can feed one plant for six animals, like these ones. One plant. Uh, you know, we, do the, we did the experiment, as you've seen, that one plant is able to feed uh, six animals. Uh, it, it is actually the nutrients that we have in the other sugar napier is that the same nutrients that Guatemala has, even more. Uh, uh, it is an, an environmental protection. Actually, when it comes to soil erosion, it is the best in protecting soil erosion. So we encourage all farmers, even if you are not able to plant uh, Guatemala for animal feed, if you have your coffee plantation, you can have a few plants and put on those trenches that are made in the farm for it to stop soil erosion in your farm. How many types of Guatemala do you have? No, the Guatemala is one type. Now, okay. actually, the, 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 we, because of a lot of suffering to make it to reach where we have reached, now we have added the name. It is now called Guatemala Hand Zone Kaziwe. Because if you miss those two, you, you, you can imagine, I've given uh, so many friends of mine uh, 10 pieces to go and try. All of them comes back here and say, Moses, ah, we have faith. They, they died. How? Because <laughs> it needs those three I said. Guatemala, hand zone, Kaziwe. Yeah? You, the hand zone, I mean, even, even if I give you this plant, you must keep checking on it. Is it watered well? Does it have water? Was it well planted? Like even the planting and harvesting can make you lose out Guatemala. Like this one behind you in the camera, that one, the harvester must know that as you are harvesting, you have to leave and two inch of on the on the original plant. You don't just harvest far. If you go until you finish it down, it will not come back. It will just die. Okay. Take us through the planting of Guatemala. What condition should I follow? While yeah, planting? of course it is like any other plant. When you are planting Guatemala, you need to have water in that period. Not too much, of course, water to make it grow, germinate. And uh, uh, it loves this lower part of swamp here. Yeah? If you have a swamp, I would advise you to plant uh, Guatemala in the swampy area. If you, you plant it in a swampy area, you'll be able to harvest three times a year. Each three months, you are harvesting. That is three times a year. The measurement? Uh, the, spacing yes, the spacing is one meter from each crop. Yeah? One meter, one meter. One meter here, one meter here, one meter here. Why? Yes. You see, it, it grows bigger, actually. 
yeah, if you plant it in a swamp area, it will grow bigger like this. Why we do one meter? It's because now, after it has germinated and whatever the, uh, together, you will not have another cost of uh, of weeding, etc., etc. Yeah. How nutritious is Guatemala to livestock? In fact, in in our past uh, episode, I told you the nutrition that uh, Guatemala has. Let me maybe repeat it. Uh, uh, you see, people keep uh, uh, telling people a, a story that Guatemala doesn't have nutrients. Crude protein, 5.5. Uh, crude fiber, uh, 41.6. NDF, 76.4. And ADF, 82 uh, 48.2. So basically, what nutrients, nutrients you find in the other sugar nap here, these ones are higher than what you find the other side. To me, who has actually practically used the Guatemala, you, you find the animal which was producing maybe three liters of milk, it gives you six after it is fed on what? Guatemala. So basically, you use your logic. If, 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 if you're a farmer, you can come here and, and, and see by yourself. Now, why, why are we emphasizing that farmers should go for Guatemala? One, if you are, in, uh, you are in milk production, it will increase your milk. Two, if you have many animals, it will save you for having a huge place for small animals. You know, like for example, if you have an acre of Guatemala, you are able to harvest 40 tons of fresh and then you get 20 tons of dry Guatemala uh, silage, yes. Farmers who don't have Guatemala, what do they miss? Now, if, 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 if we, are, we are now able to actually to give farmers, uh, not giving, but we are able to sell our seedlings. We have enough seedlings to sell to the whole country. Whoever wants the Guatemala seeds, the cuttings, you can visit our farm. A kilo is just 30,000 shillings, and you take uh, whatever number of, uh, uh, you want. We are ready to supply up to maybe five million seeds. What is it best known for? Guatemala. You know, as I said before, that it is going to save you by having a lot of land for small animals. If you have this Guatemala, you are good to go with any number of animals. How, how is it harvested? When, when what's you have, the generation? How many generations do you, do you have? Yeah, as long as the harvester is good, this Guatemala can live, can stay for maybe 50 years. It is not easy to die. You keep on uh, harvesting and harvesting and harvesting. Like I've said before, if you put it in a swamp area, you are able to harvest three times a year. Yes, so it's a good plant. And as, as soon as it drops somewhere, you know, during the cutting, it will also germinate. It is like a sugar cane. So, yeah, that's a big the advantage of it. Is not, it's not like these people who are making fodder from maize. Um, you know, maize you plant, you have a lot of investment, and then you make silage, and then tomorrow you have again to invest. And uh, this one, you just invest once. You cut, it grows back. You cut, it grows back. What challenges does it? The challenge, the challenge actually doesn't die. It doesn't have any pest that attacks it. Yeah. And one thing I've realized, if you plant it with this GMO maize nearby, it will catch up with that whatever, that, uh, that uh, maize weevil that disturbs the whatever, that, that pest. So it is advisable, don't plant this GMO maize nearby the Guatemala plantation, because it, on its own, if it doesn't, it is not planted nearby that, it will not get any other disease, any disease. Yeah, it is How a disease long? resistant. How long does it take to grow? Harvested and to grow? Yeah, it, depending on where you have planted it. If it is on the lower side, three months you are able to to, to start harvesting. If it is on uh, uh, dry land, it's four months, between four and six months. So in a dry land, you can harvest uh, uh, two times a year, but on the lower land, you can harvest three times a year. The enterprise is here. How many supporting staffs do you have? We have 26 workers here for the Guatemala farm, and then we have five for uh, uh, Gonja plantain, and then the cattle keepers are four, and then sheep we have two, and 
almost six, uh, almost almost 42 workers around. Do we have market for for Guatemala in Uganda? Yeah, the market is there. You know, even people have been calling me in this dry season. People have been suffering of the animal feed. Actually, it increased from 600,000 a ton to 800. But ours is going to be ready by next year. That is when we shall be ready. How many tons do you expect to harvest? Uh, by next year, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be able to have one million tons of, of silage from the 50 acres. Okay. And advice to, to youth and people watching you? Uh, the youth, of course, we have been advising them, but they don't listen. You see, uh, if, if, before you sell your motorcycle to go and and, 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 and flood in the city, you, you, you think, think twice. Uh, you can maybe decide to do uh, half an acre of Guatemala and you are able to get uh, uh, 15 tons, I mean 20 tons of, of fresh Guatemala and then 10 in dry. 10 tons of Guatemala would give you how much? Let me show you here. 10, 10, times, 10, 10 tons of, uh, of um, dry silage will be able to give you uh, 10 tons times 600 will be able to give you 6 million shillings. That is, uh, if you have this twice a year, you have your 12 million shillings in a half an acre. Yeah, you, 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 it means, it does sense, yeah. So, but you know, uh, our youth need things which are quicker and, and, and our, our elders like me are not willing to teach them. But me here, I, am, I will help them to inform them that you don't need to rush to Kampala. For now, that time of ours, Kampala was the best place to live in and maybe you get something. But today, the, the village, village life is better than uh, uh, Kampala as long as you have uh, a good plan. Yeah. Yes, you talk about coffee. Do you have coffee here? Coffee, uh, no, we are just starting. We are just starting. We have a very little coffee, but we have uh, coffee nurseries, which is around three million uh, uh, seedlings at our our nursery up there. So whoever needs uh, coffee, robusta, arabic, and corono, these are the three types we have here in, at MK Mixed Farm. We don't we don't do the other the other new types of coffee. We fear new things a lot. Here we do the ordinary things. I've just seen a. a, a an Arabic robusta coffee plant, plant in Kanonirea, which has spent for over 130 years at an old, old woman's home. So uh, basically, even our old coffee is good. And actually, if you grow it under trees, it has a different scent. People buy it differently. Yes. Do you face, do you face challenges of intruders here, safeties? No, we have security. Like these boys you are seeing uh, for security. We have security around and we have cameras. We have installed cameras. Uh, we have security from private security companies and yeah, they keep guarding the whole place. Can okay, you take us through Alvera? Alvera, Alvera growing. Alvera, uh, we, have, we have almost 20 acres up there. But uh, it is now grown. Now we, we are waiting for the rains to start and then we keep uh, planting. We want to have maybe 120 acres. That whole hill you are seeing, it grows very well on a hilly place. Yeah, and um, our main purpose is between now and next year, we shall have a factory processing alvea toothpaste, alvea gel, alvea powder, and capsules. And, and, and then we do... Uh, uh, all products that are coming from Alvera, juice, etc, etc. So yeah, yeah. Okay. Those are my visa. Okay.